calculate the power of these two lenses. In the first case, we have a convex lens. This is the symbol for a convex or converging lens. And the rays of light that are coming in parallel to the principal axis, that's the line through the center, are being converged to a focus. And the focal length is 0.25 meters. In the second case, we've got a concave lens. That's a diverging lens. So the rays of light that come in are parallel to the principal axis in this case and are diverged away from the principal axis. Of course, that ray in the middle will just go straight through the optical center of the lens and carries on in a straight line. That's always the case. And if we track back those diverged rays, we can see that they seem to have come from a focal point in front of the lens. And so we have a focal length between the focal point there and the lens of 0.4 meters. So let's use an equation to calculate the power of these two lenses. Uh, first off, we're going to just do a little list of data. OK, so let's first of all say that our focal length is 0.25 meters. We're in the correct units. It's not centimeters or millimeters. And we want to find the power and that's going to be in diopters. Next step is the equation. So power is 1 over the focal length. So we just need to sub in the numbers now. So power equals 1 divided by 0 0.25 meters. Don't worry about putting the units in when you sub the numbers in and so we get the power is 4 and state the answer with the units for diopters. That's the power of the lens. Let's take a look at this diverging lens. The focal length f in this case is 0.4 meters and again we're looking for the power and it's important to do this list each time you do a calculation, just so that you can structure your calculations logically. Here's the equation, p equals 1 upon f. Let's put the numbers in. p equals 1 over 0 0.40, and that will give us 2.5 diopters. And so it's a nice, simple approach to this calculation using the power of a lens formula. P equals 1 over the focal length.